tenure of will. Tenure is the period of will, the term of will. How do we compute the date of maturity of a will? <clears throat> will after date. Now, let us take an example. Let us say the bill is dated 1st January. That means the bill was drawn on 1st January. And let us say that its maturity is one month after date. One month after date. So if it's 1st January, then that would mean 1st January plus one month is 1st February. So this would be the date of expiry when it is bill after date. One more example, instead of one month after 1st January, suppose it says 30 days after date. What is after date? Date of the bill. Date of the bill. So it is 30 days from 1st January. Now January has 31 days. So when we say 30 days after 1st January, the date would be 31st January. It is 1st January plus 30 days equal to 31st January. So there is a small difference when the period is expressed in months and it is expressed in days. When it is in days, we have to count the exact number of days. 30 days from 1st January, 1st January plus 30 days would give us 31st January. But if it's a month, if it's two months from 1st January, it would be 1st January to 1st February, 1st February to 1st March and the date would be 1st March. So this is bill after date. If it is bill after sight, what would it mean? Suppose the bill is dated 1st January, but it was accepted only on 5th January. Accepted on 5th January. Date of bill is 1st January, but 5th January is the date of acceptance. In that case, if we say that the maturity is one month after sight, one month after sight, then the date would be 5th January plus one month would be 5th February. Therefore, depending on the wordings, we should be able to compute, arrive at the date of expiry of a bill. However, after the above computations, we need to add three days of grace. Therefore, if a bill, if a bill dated 1st January is for a period of one month after date. So the bill date is 1st January date of bill and the period is one month after date what is the date of maturity date of maturity is equal to first jan plus one month plus three days of grace first jan plus one month plus three days of grace 1st Jan plus 1 month is 1st February plus 1st February plus 3 days, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. 4th February would be the date of maturity, would be the date of maturity. This is how the date of maturity is arrived at. It is the date of expiry, 1 month, 30 days, 90 days, 3 months, whatever, plus Three days of grace. However, 
Sometimes a bill may be at sight or a demand bill. A bill at sight or a demand bill is a bill which has to be paid the moment it is presented. In these cases, for such bills, a bill at sight or a demand bill, there are no days of grace. There are no days of grace. They have to be paid the moment they are presented for payment. So, to compute the tenure of a bill, the bill, we, we need to add three days of grace to the date of expiry. This date of expiry may be so many days or so many months after date or after sight. After date would mean after the date of the bill. After sight would mean after acceptance in the case of a bill of exchange. After presentment in the case of a promissory note. Once a promissory note is signed, it is presented and shown to the promisee. The date would be computed from the date at which the promisee has seen the bill, if it is a bill after sight.